Hello and welcome to the second video in our webcast series on the topic of sols in contact. So this video is going to look at how to locate points on a sphere and it borrows directly from our previous video explaining the extreme generator. So if you haven't already done so I would recommend looking at the first video on the extreme generator to have a better idea of what we're talking about in this video. So we'll begin by just first of all looking at a typical situation where we have a sphere like so and you can see that here we have a point on the outer surface of our sphere. Now if you look at our 3D and our plan view here we can see that the point that we have on our sphere is located along the extreme generator in our plan view. So our extreme generator being this band all the way around our sphere which marks the front from the back of our object and remarks the outline of the shape that's projected for our front elevation. So because our point here is on our extreme generator and plan view, as we look in from the front, we project that point straight back and it ends up on the outline or the outer edge of our front elevation. So like so. And same over here. We can see because it's on the extreme generator here in our plan view, it's on the outer edge. Now in this case I've chosen to put that on the top of the object, but it could equally be along the bottom point here. But the important thing is that if it's on the extreme generator here in our plan view, it's on the edge of our circle in our front elevation. The same thing can be said if we look from above the object. So if we're looking from above the object and we have a point along our band like so, so there's our extreme generator, this time looking from above, the, the circle separating the, the top from the bottom, so the part that's in light versus the part that's in shade. And in this case here we can see our band like that gets projected down and becomes the outline here in our plan view. So our point, if it's on this extreme generator, like so, gets projected straight down and ends up on the edge then in our plan view. So there you can see it's on the extreme generator in our elevation and it ends up on the edge here in our plan view. And like before, this could be either at the front or the back of the object. In this case, because we haven't been told one way or the other, I've just chosen to put it on the, the front of the object. Now, these are two situations where we're um, our point is on the extreme generator in elevation or plan. If we have a situation where our point is towards the front of the object or maybe towards the back but not on our extreme generator, well how we go and locate our point in our elevation up here is by first of all moving the point so that it is on the extreme generator. And this is the general approach we take for all our questions. We need to first of all locate and solve our question in a side position as if the point was on the side or our extreme generator. So the way we do that is we imagine grabbing this sphere like so and just spinning it around. So if we were to spin it around, this point here would roll around the object out to the side like so. And here we can see in plan view that forms this circular arc. So our center point of our circle forming the center point for our arc like so. And there it is in 3D, just spinning around until it's on the side or the extreme generator of our sphere. So once it's on the extreme generator, now we have our point in our side position. So when we project that back, that's going to be on our outline. Another way we can view this would be is if we literally sliced off the top of our sphere at the point or the height where our point is. So that would give us this circular shape like that. So if you can imagine like cracking an egg, well there is the cracked edge like so. And you can see there it is where it meets the edge. There's where it's going to be in our elevation. So there's our point here on our side position. Now we project it up and we can locate it in its side position up in elevation. So here it is projected back to our elevation. Now to return it back to its original position, what we must do is basically roll our sphere back around. So our point is here, it's going to travel back along our arc until he reaches his starting off position. So here is our starting position in our plan view. So we need to roll him around. He's going to take a circular arc here. But in our elevation, that motion is just going to simply be a straight line moving straight across. So you can see, here we can see our point. There's where we started in plan view, projecting up. And there he is rolling back around. So as he rolls in an arc in plan view, he rolls as a straight line in our elevation. 
just imagine our point here spinning left and right that would be the same as if rolling the sphere rolling a ball around and around he would move left and right and down here in plan view he would move around and around in a circle and that's how we locate our point from our um plan view to our elevation if we want to do the same starting off with our front elevation we just do exactly the same thing only we start ac go across the edge down and locate it in our edge and then we rotate around so it's exactly the same thing just starting from a different position so that's um, how to locate a point um, for on a sphere and um, our next video we'll look at the exact same thing for a cone and we'll look at two methods and how to locate a point on a cone so thank you very much and stay tuned uh, for more videos